Hello everybody, Georgia B back again. Today I'd like to try and make this card. This card was given to me for my birthday from my one of my card pals, Moira Williams. And I tried to make it again. Now my version of this is this one. I used the paper from the Friendly Hello paper from Celebration. I thought I did alright, but when you fold it up, it comes out like that. More is just the same. So it won't go in a 6x6 envelope. So I'm going to attempt to make one that will go in a 6x6 envelope. So all I've done is I've chopped down this middle one a bit and I'll show you what I've done. So I think it's beautiful cards, but Moira's beautiful card and I did tell her when I thanked her for it that I was going to case it and she used the, I don't know what kind of bird that is, crane bird papers. I don't know what it's called, but beautiful papers. So I am going to make another one, but I'm using papaya, the papaya card, I forgot what it's called, pale papaya. Right, so I'm going to use that. So I have got a 6x6 six six card blank, a 6 5 by 7 8 by 5 and 7 8 basic white, and then a 5 and a half, no, 5 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters. Uh, of the friendly hello paper. That's one design. My next one is five inches tall by nine inches. And then I've got a five by a four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths basic white and a four and three quarters by four and three quarters of the DSP and it's a different pattern which I want and I've also got a seven eighth of an inch by four and seven eighths in the basic white and of the same DSP I've got this at three and three at three quarters of an inch by five at uh, four and three quarters. I should write this down, but I don't. All right, the third piece I've got is a four inches by eight inches. Then I've got a three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths basic white, a three and three quarters by three and three quarters of the DSP and seven eighths by three and seven eighths of a white and three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters of the DSP. Right, that give me a headache. Now, first things we need to take these two pieces of card, move these out of the way, bring in the scoreboard, and with my tool, we are going to score these at one inch. 2 inch, 3 inch, 
and four inch like that and do the same on this one one inch two inch three inch and four inch that's it that's all we need that for and then we're going to fold these all over burnish them More. then with this we're going to just form a square like that fold it up until it forms a tube on itself on the card making sure it's in there tight I'll do that in a minute let's burnish this one as well And that one also will have a tube like that but before we do that we want to do all our sticking of our papers down so while well, that one's in front of me let's stick our papers down one and get this strip on the reason we're doing this strip as it can be seen so we want to cover it up make it look nice this on here so when that's all folded up and that fits on the show it's got DSP on right, we could fold this one over now so we're just going to glue the first one excuse my husband snoring in the background right make sure it's well folded in there you are square and it will stand up so that's the first one done let's get this one done
paste that on there like that. Can't help but touch a paper with the glue bottle, and that's what causes it to gunk up. Place that on there. And then we'll glue this one down. Thumbs don't meet to push down in the middle. Right, that's the second one done. And then we'll join up like that. When it's time. Right. Get the back page done. This paper is really pretty, this friendly hello. Oops. better if I got it on straight. Oh, come on. to be on my last card I'm filming today, didn't it? Where it wouldn't stick. Now then, you would put a white piece on the back for your writing, like Moira did there. So I haven't got one cut, so I'll do it after I've afterwards. Or I might even leave it until I need to use it. Right, now I'm going to attach these. So what we're going to do is place glue to the foldy bit, flatten it and place it right on the edge, not going over. Mm. 
make sure it's well and truly glued. Do the same with this one. And glue that right to the edge. Maybe I should have done that that way. That's better. that is my card standing and I wanted to make sure it went in a 6x6 envelope and they all line up well, I'm glad with that Moira's came in a um, larger envelope, but then she did have my monthly cards in with it, so now to stop postage. Spending so much on stamps, she posted them all together, which is fine. I would have done the same. Except I didn't have a February card ready when I posted her birthday card because her birthday is actually the same day as mine. So now we've got a sentiment to do. On this one, Moira spot happy birthday. And I did my one, I did it there. But this time I'm going to have happy birthday along that way. Running along there. So I have got the happy birthday. Oh yeah, it does. Out of special moments, and I'm using that happy birthday there. And this we need to cut. I'm using my trimmer. Trim, see if I can do this a little bit off the bottom. That's better. It's more room underneath now. Yeah, I like that. I think I'll put that on dimensionals.
we are. I like that better. You can't see what it's like this way. Only if I tip it up there. I think I should have put this paper in the middle because there's two quite blank papers that side. Never mind. At least I got what I wanted to put it in a 6x6 six six envelope. If I make another one, I will keep an eye on the papers. But Moira's one was absolutely beautiful. In fact, two of the girls at my card craft club took the dimensions down for this to make their own. Because I took it to show them. Right. If you like my card for today, please subscribe. No, not subscribe. Hit the like button. I haven't said that for a while. Hit the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday and Friday. And if you press, yeah, if you press the bell icon, that's what happens. And all I can say now then is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.